Here. Wait. Let's get. Yep. Come on. Yep. Yep, yep. Help a blind man. <laughs> okay, here you are. That which is killing you will help you finally to see. And see clearly, friend. See and hear. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that. Okay, I have nothing girl. more for you now. That should do it, girl. Yep. So, you're still alive. Huh. Mr. Morgan! How are you? Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, very well. 
How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant, although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks, only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. Well, how about I drive him over? Oh, that might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure. Wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> your likeness taken? Go then! Let's make you all famous. Yep. Easy. Genius. No, but I can ride a horse. Well, in my world, that makes you a genius. You're too kind. <laughs> so how are the uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing. Here, I have a print of the wolves before they tried to eat us. Mm. It's for you. That's real fine. Well, thank you. Take care, Mr. Mason. You too, sir. You too. Now for a few final checks. Don't mind me. I may be at this for some time.
Hold on there, girl. If you're looking for gold, I'd go off river. I'm having no luck here. <laughs> Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Pero qué haces? You need to back off, my friend. Okay, okay. I do you to relax. No veo nada aquí. Vamos. Vamos, te voy a dar un poco de amor. ¿Dónde estás? ¿Qué te pasa? Wofford, I got here a warrant for your arrest, or the other thing if it comes to it. <sighs> a federal warrant? No, 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 that don't mean much in a sovereign territory, mister. We've been beaten down and driven out enough. Let's come away peacefully and you can live. Ooh, <laughs>
Let's get you out of here, mister. You won't get a hundred paces. We'll see. He's trying to take me, man! Hey, stop him! He's trying to take me! Hold on, let's go. Stop him! Stop him! They would if they could. Come on, stand in the awaits. Damn you! Man! Man! This is, uh, very kind of you. <laughs> Shoot each other, why don't you?
This could get bumpy. Uh. Here we go. Everyone wants a piece of you, Mr. Wofford. Now, let's get you back. I know, girl. Just give me a second. for you. Well, look he he. We got a genuine Lamont Raider in the building. <laughs> Make the poor fella comfortable in one of our cells. <laughs> Bet you ain't felt a bed in a while. Damn traitor's bed. Get me off of here. Calm down. Well, 
That's what they were, and not a penny more. I'm worth every penny. There you are. Come on, keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now, remember, we just want money. Don't All your make money now, you. don't make me Mr. ask M, twice. Leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. Now, I got I'm this gonna one. need everything fine. you got. It's your choice. Not mine. Kindly open that gate. Give me your money. It ain't worth dying. Okay. Fine, it's yours. I said open the gate and let my acquaintance. <laughs> There's nothing much it's, here. What? Of course. There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Don't move it. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That Let's greasy son now. of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go now! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. Hold them off, fellas. Down on the right. We got some in those alleyways, Arthur. And up on that balcony. We got some. 
about me? Just get us out of here. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, and we each got... $15. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all. Ain't forgotten you. Yep. Go. Damn. What happened to you? Here. Okay. Okay. Oh, we just tried that plan over there, and it was like a gunshot. Paint flowers, tiny little bastard. Steer clear. Thanks, mister. I owe you my life. Some things you learn the hard way. Yeah, you can 
You can say that again. Whew. Oi. Okay, take it easy. <laughs> Always good to see you. Hi there, Arthur. You see miles away. I'm fine. Anyway, not my business, I guess. Okay. You okay, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, oh, Driscoll's, Pinkerton's. Is there anybody who doesn't know where we are at this point? I don't know what to tell you. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay. Oh, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. By what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This I'm... is it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. 
Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. Anyway, you were saying, why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp, catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Yep, yep. Here. Let's go. You said you were with me on this. Okay, girl. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up, and lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people, let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith! I am bending over backwards to make a future for us! I know, but... But! 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 When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Triscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Whoa. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend... Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a... social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. 
We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. He live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. Well, I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the higher ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company? Mr. Arthur. Check the traps with me. Can you please check the other one for me, Mr. Arthur? This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch. You show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Alright, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find her. Stuck in the mud. It happens. <clears throat> Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Oh, 
Reloader. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Someone there? No! Jules? No! Jules? Someone there? Jules? Hey! Someone there? Hello? Hey! Someone there? saw big and nasty knocked me off the boat and chased me over here you must be jules yes where is the boat it's over there i ran i oh. okay yeah. and uh where'd this monster swim off to i got the scare it's over here Stop! gonna be out here all night what you doing hiding up in the tree boy this gator was huge thomas twice as big as i ever seen twice as angry too nonsense now what i think we hit a tree stone yeah i thought we cleared you're gonna need to jump in and pull us free me yeah just do it won't take you a minute boy go on 
This is a bad idea. We'll see any giant monster long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple crack gunslingers here, but the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put that three bullet you got it. Oh. Uh. Uh. 
You're gonna be okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kinda reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Me. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. He's a bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. Well. Come on, girl. Yeah. So up now. <laughs> <laughs> 